So, this is my roommate and friend Joey, also known on Twitch as DonutMan851. He's under 500 followers, but makes really funny ass content. I bombed it instead of bullet! He primarily streams for us in Valorant, but today, instead of streaming, he'll be 1v1ing me in a game of chess, with the prize being a new custom mechanical keyboard. But before that game happens, let's see what he's rocking keyboard wise. Fuck out of here. What the hell? Yeah, he's in need of a new keyboard. But first, what keyboard will I be building for this challenge? Well, this is the Gamma K K61, and today I'll be upgrading this into a great under $100 budget keyboard. I clearly want to say that this was provided me by Banggood, but that's it. The switches and keycaps came out of my own pocket, and this review slash video will be completely unbiased. With that, let's check out the Gamma K K61. The Gamma K K61 is a $60 fully assembled hot swappable mechanical keyboard featuring either gate on black, blue, brown, yellow, or red switches. It also features a full acrylic case and has six different RGB color effects. Here's a quick stock sound test. The stock sound is what you expect out of a $60 board. The stabilizers are a bit rattly and overall the board is a bit hollow. Nothing out of the ordinary. But, as mechanical keyboard enthusiasts, it's time to upgrade this bad boy. Firstly, for switches, I'll be swapping out the Gator on blacks with Aka Ocean Blues. Ocean Blues are the best budget tactile switch and at $9.99 per pack of $45, make for a great replacement option. Secondly, I'll be adding both the tape mod and adding PE foam to deepen the sound of the board. At this point, these two mods are a must if you want your board to sound deeper. Lastly, I'll be adding some thicker PBT keycaps I got from LavaCap. I've had these setting for a while now and I think they'll look good on the board. I'm also going to be lubing the stabilizers and band-aid modding the PCB because there is a bit of rattle between the stabilizers and the PCB. With everything put together, let's listen to that final sound test. Overall, I'm very happy with this board. The clacky, deep sound signature is very satisfying and for only $98, I'd say this board is definitely worth it. The RGB as well as the layout make it great for aesthetics and the Aqua Ocean Blues make it great for gaming. The only gripe I have with this board is that this is the furthest I can mod it. Because it's so cheap and because of the mounting style, the only thing I could really do is add foam on the bottom to help deepen the sound. This is different from the GK and RK series, which actually have standoffs, meaning you can o-ring mount it, and other things. Still, I have no complaints with the sound, nor the board itself. I think this board is definitely worth it. But if you're looking for a $100 Thaki keyboard, I'd highly recommend watching Shub's video, and he has a great $100 Thaki keyboard build that I'll put in the description. Alright, this is Donutman851, or as we like to call him, Joey, and today will be facing me in a 1v1 in chess for this keyboard. How does it sound? Um, I like bigger keyboards, but the sound of it is honestly pretty good. I like that it's raised a bit clear, a bit light, but it seems a better quality than the, than the one I have now. It sounds like mainly plastic. Mm -hmm. All right. Are there any early predictions for this game? I'm going to kick Kevin's ass. This man doesn't know how to play chess. Bruh. Are you subscribed to TauntyYT on YouTube? No. 
Are you subscribed to Taunty YT on YouTube? All right. Final question. Are you good at chess? Absolutely. GM Hikaru isn't even on my level. <laughs> I mean, I'm practicing. Magnus Carlsen asked to 1v1 me and I turned it down because I'm like, dude, I don't have the time. Here we have Taunty YT, the oh. face of the Taunty YT <laughs> channel. All right, Kevin, how do you feel your, about your chances of winning this game? So I beat Joey many, many times before, so this is an easy dub, 100%. Also, I'm an... How do you feel about the chance of losing this keyboard? To be honest, I don't want to lose it. It's hella satisfying to game on, and it's a great keyboard to have, including for the price. But uh, if he wins, which he's not, I'll be using that keyboard for a while. Joey, how do you feel about that game? I'm not surprised in the slightest. I knew walking in in the first move of D4 Pawn that he didn't even have a chance. Do you have anything you want to say to my fans or maybe even your fans? Uh, I do want to say you should subscribe to Taunty YT. He's going to get us out of the hood. You know, he's making it strong, making those good keyboard videos. You should also follow my Twitch, Donovan851. I stream once a month. Once a month, goddamn. I'm a, I'm a very active streamer, you know. I, I got I got big business calls. I'm an engineering major, so I'm always busy. So what happened in that last match? So like, uh, I was thinking about something else. I was thinking about my next YouTube video, um, and I just happened to make a few extra blunders, and Joey ended up picking up the dub. Don't worry. I mean, not my pride doesn't hurt or anything. I don't have an ego or whatever. It's just like. I mean, I, I, this game is scripted, right? Hey, I mean, look, the game, a little bit fishy. I mean, I lost. I, I was supposed to go white first, but he did. And just saying, um, my chance of winning when I go black first, it, it's reduced by maybe like 80 to 105%. I, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, any, any parting words from your horrible loss to the king? Joey. Um, subscribe to Taunty YT. Like the video. Um, please. I need the subs and I need the likes now. Uh, I'll financially never recover from this. So, thanks y'all. <laughs>